Hi, I'm Dylan, and in this video, I'll show you how to recover useful components from scrap electronics. We'll start with smaller components, such as LEDs and resistors. Those are the easiest to remove. All you'll need is a soldering iron, and perhaps some solder. Simply add solder to the leads, and heat both leads with your iron, until you can pull it out. With some components, such as switches, you'll find that the leads are too far apart to be heated simultaneously. In most cases, you can heat all of the leads in succession while rocking the component back and forth. If there are more than four leads, as with most headers, it's much easier and more effective to use a desoldering iron. A desoldering iron can be used to heat a joint and simultaneously suction the solder out. Just be careful not to heat headers too much. It is possible to melt the plastic holding them together and accidentally remove or displace a pin. To use a desoldering iron, first squeeze the suction bulb, place the tip around a lead, wait for the solder to flow, circle the tip around, and then release the suction bulb. Some irons can even be attached to a shop vac rather than just the suction bulb. If you don't have a desoldering iron, you may have luck using a desoldering pump or solder wick. However, these methods aren't nearly as effective and usually aren't worth the effort. For some trickier through-hole components, it might be easier to just snip the leads if there's enough room. Surface mount components are generally the trickiest to remove. You'll need a hot air station with an adjustable temperature, flux, and possibly some captain tape. First off, if there are components you don't want to remove in the area, you can cover them up with captain tape. Next, apply some flux to the legs of the component you're removing. Then, preheat the general area of the board at around 200 degrees Celsius for about a minute. Then ramp up the temperature to around 240 degrees Celsius. You might even need to ramp up your temperature higher in order to flow the solder, as lead-free solder has a higher melting point. You can make sure all of the solder has reflowed by poking the component with something, and once it's loose, you can remove it with tweezers. Or just plop it on the table. With these tips and techniques, you'll be able to remove and reuse components from what might otherwise be garbage. Thanks for watching.